Hi, hi. I'm still me, Nico. Uh, huh. Okay, so... I have a pet peeve. I have several. But today, I want to talk about broad generalizations. You know how people sit there and say, well, all women are crazy. All men are dogs. All children are evil. While I believe the last one is true, um, it still irks me that generally that that blanket statements are made that way, because I am an atypical female, and so when people say all women are this, I tend to be like, oh, well, well, I take exception to this because I am a woman and. Um, I don't do that. I'm not like that. So let's dial it back a little bit and rephrase yourself because I am taking offense to what you say. Now, I tend to not make broad generalizations because I've seen it like that before and I've always taken offense to things like that. And so I, I, uh, instead of making blanket statements, I tend to say things like, in my experience, most of the men I have come in contact with have been this way. Now it's not just a blanket statement. It's a very specific statement about the men that I have come in contact with. Maybe I need to step out of my fold and go, and go into another crowd of men and see that all of them are crazy. I don't know, maybe, possibly, but, really? Get her a bike. Um, <laughs> sorry, lost my train of thought. Right. Okay, so I have these two cousins who tend to always make these broad generalizations about women and, and, and the comments that they make. And so I always turn around and I always say, is that how you see me? Is that how you see me? Is that how I am? And then they're always like, oh, no, no, no. You know, uh, I think the last time it was like, uh, women should stay home <coughs> and uh, tend to the children while the husband is off working. Very 1940s, 1950s kind of ideals. And I turned around to them, I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. So, what you're saying is I should quit my job where I get paid twice as much as my husband does and um, stay at home, cook and clean and take care of my children when I already cook, clean and take care of my children after work. Sitter has to just sit there with the kids and take care of lunch because I handle breakfast before I leave the house. And they're like, oh, no, 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 well, you're the exception to the rule because you take care of your family and you talk to your kids and you teach your kids and you go to work. Okay, well, how am I the exception to the rule? How do you know that there aren't other people that are exempted from your rule? You don't know. Maybe I'm not the only one who sits there and takes the time to feed their children breakfast before going to work. Maybe I'm not the only one who sits there and has the conversations with her kids about... Um, things that they need to know as they're growing up. And I do. I sit there and I take the time to have those conversations with my kids as I know that they need them. I can't be the only parent who does that. I mean, surely. I, I, don't, I don't believe that there are very many parents who do this because, honestly speaking, most parents avoid the, uh, thank you, and fuck off. Anyway, sorry about that. Uh, there can't be very many parents who are uh, spending their time off from work talking to their kids about the awkward situations or even about, you know, school. How's your school? How's your school day? How, how many friends do you have? Really? Wow, can I meet some of them? You want to bring them over here, you know. Have the conversations with your kids that open your kids up to wanting to talk to you. All of my kids are now in their 20s. All of them. And uh, they range from 20 to 28. And um, 
because I'm open with them and I've always been open with them about everything as honest as I can be even when the honesty takes me to that place where it's like listen just trust me and when you're old enough I can have that conversation with you but you've got to trust me that this is the answer and that's it and they do and that they, they did and as they grew older we had those conversations even don't care how awkward it got actually had the conversation where listen kid uh, you know I love you whether you're gay or straight whether you're a boy or a girl whoever you fall in love with I love you if you're a criminal or if you're a civilian I don't care I will always love you you know what I mean but those are the kind of conversations you have to have with your children because children for the most part need to be told or taught that they can be open with you otherwise how are they going to be open with you how are they going to talk to you you know what I mean I can't be the only exception here I know that there are parents out there who talk to their kids I know that there are parents out there who help educate their kids on the things that really matter in life there have to be because I can't be the exception to every damn rule I can't be I can't be the only exception I, I refuse to believe that I believe that out there somewhere there are parents who also have a great relationship with their children that they can their children know that they can come up and talk about anything I have faith in uh, in humans that way maybe not much faith but I have faith that somewhere out there there's a person proving that I am not the only exception to the rule.